To express the solution to the non-homogeneous wave equation um, using Duham we can use Duhamel's uh, principle again. So here note, I've got the initial position given by u0 and the initial velocity given by v0. All right, so the first step is going to be to figure out what the solution is uh, for the wave equation, the homogeneous wave equation. Um, so that we can get our complementary solution. So UTT minus C squared UXX equals zero, so we're homogeneous. And we're gonna look at um, UX zero equals U naught, and U prime, so to speak, X zero is B naught. And so we solve this one in section 2.2. Uh, so using d'Alembert's formula, we know that uxt is the um, is going to be 1 half u naught x minus ct plus u naught x plus ct. So the, two, the right moving and left moving waves. Um, coming from the initial condition and then the part coming from the initial velocity which we get by integrating so this will be from x minus ct to x plus ct uh, v naught of some dummy variable s right okay so then the next step is going to be to look for the particular solution uh, with the homogeneous initial conditions so we're going to look at solving UTT minus C squared UXX equals, um, and here we put the non-homogeneous term F, um, but we have the homogeneous uh, boundary conditions, or initial conditions, rather. OK. so. Let's see, so in order to do this one, let's think about Duhamel's. So uh, to find the uh, function w sub tau that solves w t t minus c squared w x x equals 0, uh, w x 0 equals 0, and w t x 0 equals f of x t, right? Um, that's the first step. And if you're wondering, wait, why why is it that we we attached f here to um, to the the time derivative? Well, recall that when we're looking at sources, um, like this. Um, <coughs> the thing to keep in mind is that we're, this is force added to the string, right? And force is F equals MA. So it's coming in like acceleration. So in other words, what I'm saying is that uh, adding force corresponds to specifying velocity um, <coughs> and and so that's why we want it on the WT and not just the W term okay um, uh, so we solve that one and then W tau T minus tau Um, solves the wave equation uh, and I'm out of room help no space okay let me back this all up just a little bit here okay
Um, and yes, okay. And so W or W tau is going to be given by one over two C x minus ct to x plus ct fs tau ds and so then when we put this all together um, our grand solution u is going to be one half and then we've got the uh, left and right moving waves from the initial position. Um, and then we add to that 1 over 2c integral. And uh, OK, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the part coming from the initial velocity. And then. We have the non-homogeneous part. And so the non-homogeneous part is going to be the integral from 0 to t. And then the thing that we're um, going to put right here, this is going to be w tau t minus tau. So note in particular that um, the argument is going to be shifted um, by tau. But the part corresponding to the subscript doesn't get affected. So by that, I'm uh, I'm just pointing out that the uh, um, if we come back here, the uh, the part corresponding to t that gets shifted is in the top and bottom of the integral. The part corresponding to tau is over here. That doesn't get messed with when you do the substitution. So this is going to be x minus c t minus tau to x plus c t minus tau because it got shifted. And then we're going to have f of s tau. And it doesn't get messed with because this is the t tau corresponding to uh, the parameter value for the particular w that we are integrating over. OK, so this whole part here is our complementary solution. And this part here is our particular solution corresponding to the um, forcing. So this is the contribution of solutions from uh, all these little problems that are started at tau as tau varies through from 0 to t.